Right, so for the first one, <coughs> who would like to say who they thought was a tragic hero in the story? I thought it was Julius Caesar because he was murdered by the hands of his friends, or so-called friends, and um, when all he did was step up to take his spot as a noble ruler, he was killed on thoughts that could have been false and which Brutus thought he was ambitious. And how could he be ambitious if he politely declined three times to afford his hand at own? I disagree with that. I think Brutus is the tragic hero in Julius Caesar because he makes others think that Caesar is a villain and not worthy enough of being a dictator. Cassius claims Caesar is immortal while taking while talking to Brutus. Brutus is convinced by Cassius that he is just as worthy as Caesar to be to be dictator. I disagree with that because it says tragedy is defined as the portrayal of a noble character who experiences suffering or death because of a tragic flaw. I agree with that too. I agree with that oh, too. Does anyone agree with that that they think Brutus is a tragic hero? Cade? Dude, what do you have? Nothing. Oh. Alex, would you have what you think that was a tragic hero? Why? Can you, can you back up evidence? Yeah, because he was wrongfully killed for doing nothing more than answering Rome's call to be their dictator. Dictator. He ruled them with honor and integrity. Anybody could have ambition. And the fact yeah, that... Yeah, but Brutus was known for that. Yeah, but Senator he was Julius was killed because of Brutus' jealousy and is like wanting to <coughs> be in charge and wanting to say, see Caesar fall. He didn't do it out of his out of the thought of Rome and everyone around him. He did it for himself, and that's it. I'm curious to see what you have for number two. into trusting him after Caesar's death, and he persuades Brutus to let him speak in Caesar's funeral, as well as persuading the crowd to turn against Brutus, and he also persuades Octavius, his servant, into telling Octavius that it's too dangerous for him to be in uh, Rome or wherever. I disagree with that. I put one. Because I said that Brutus was because he was dishonest with everyone around him during the planning of Caesar's killing. He also tried turning everyone against Caesar so that they would help him kill him, and that shows that he's vindictive and cruel against everyone around him, and that he will do anything to kill you want. Look, what do you have up here? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear what you had. What do you think about? Who do you think was the most vindictive and most vindictive person in the play? I need to see more media analyzing going on here. Because they're both kind of a toss up. 
yeah. do a lot of the tools. Yeah. Mark Anthony is our tools. Um, Paige, what did you have for number three? Um, I said that Caesar wasn't just a tyrant, and I don't think he deserved to, to be killed. I agree with that. I, um, I think if he was ambitious, he would have accepted the crown right away instead of declining it. And I do believe that Brutus did it for the love of Rome, but I don't. <coughs> I think he had like a misconception that Caesar was ambitious, and Caesar was pretty much just an honest noble man. Because yeah. Caesar. Yeah, death was never the right answer to solve anything. It didn't really help him. And even at his funeral, even at his funeral, um, Mark Antony turned everybody against Brutus and made everybody hate him. Katie, what are your thoughts? And what about the word ambition? Or the concept, I should say, of ambition? Is that a bad thing, good thing? Good thing. But Brutus it felt can it was. It into a bad thing. Yeah. Very quickly. It's two sides. He felt it can be good or bad. If you over it. What did Brutus liken that ambition to? That it would be bad ambition, right? He would become a dictator. It would become his downfall. And there was a metaphor that he used. He loved Rome too. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. <clears throat> hmm. It must be a little bit later. Oh, right there. Um, and therefore, think him as a serpent's egg, which hatched would, as his time grow mischievous and kill him in the shell. Okay, so ambition was like that serpent in the egg. So it wasn't a bad thing necessarily until it hatched and became that bad thing. I agree with that because I think Antony is very noble and his loyalty and devotion to Caesar proves that once he is loyal to someone or something, he will stay loyal. He, um, He's a really good politician, so he's most likely breaking the votes. And he is powerful with using his speeches to sway the audience. Also, he's kind of like a stereotype of a ruler, or what they should be. Yeah, I agree with that. I think Anthony is right. Because he was a good and trusting friend. I had that. He, he would even show up for her to his bed, and, but he even admitted his faults, but he made it known that all persuaded the crowd to go against Brutus and avenge Caesar's death. Is that ability to persuade something that's important in a leader? Yeah. Yes. Very much. Oh. Because why? You yeah. have more of a chance of getting what you want if yeah. you're always on your side. But what if what he wants is not good? Bad. Then, well, that, then what other, other okay, so then what other characteristics would you be looking for?
four minutes. Okay. 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 Would you think for number four? What makes him a good leader? <coughs> what other thoughts do you have? What makes Anthony a good leader? He leads a trusting family. So? What are your guys' thoughts on Octavius? Well, Octavius is the, what, the son of Caesar? Nephew. Nephew. I feel like he would be good too, but he didn't do anything to prove himself as much as He really wasn't in it as much. Yeah, we heard more about him. Yeah. We got to know him. And Bruce just a lot. He didn't deserve it. But I don't think, I think Octavius and Anthony are more deserving of it than Bruce and Cassius. Yeah. Because they're like quick to just turn on their friends. Any final thoughts on the on Julius Caesar, Caesar, the life and or death of Julius Caesar? He was just doing what he thought was right, and then he got killed for it. So it's sad. Hmm. All right.